Well, hello there. All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Botox Games. Of course, with the long requested, long awaited game pickups video, I have not done one of these in months. It feels like I have not thrifted anything in months, but today I had an absolutely incredible day at Goodwill Outlet. I've had some stuff kind of built up over months, but trust me when I say it has been dry out there thrifting. If you've been following my channel for a long time, you know I kind of I kind of built this channel on my Goodwill Outlet pickups videos, and I'm guessing over the past 12 months or so, my Goodwill Outlet has just started, you know, sorting for Shop Goodwill where they sell stuff online. I think that's what happened, but I got really lucky today. <laughs> <laughs> like really really lucky this might be my best haul ever from a goodwill and if you don't know what goodwill outlet is you pay by the pound so everything in this video i'm gonna estimate that i maybe spent 35 dollars on you pay by the pound i think mine is a dollar 35 per pound or something like that and games are pretty light especially modern games because you know manuals um don't exist very much anymore although there is some very cool stuff in here and like i said it's, it's accumulated throughout the months i'm gonna have a separate video going over my recent switch ps5 pickup soon mostly switch because i've bought a lot especially with that new best buy sale so stay tuned for that but let's go ahead and get into it so we have just a lot of miscellaneous stuff uh my girlfriend pulled this out of a hard goods bin just like the assorted random stuff not even like a media bin it was just a baggie of uh <laughs> of gba games nothing crazy in here in terms of value in fact i already had the the one good game in here which is a little unfortunate um but we got tony hawk pro skater 4 for the game boy advance here as well as super game advance 36 and 1 you got japanese mario 2 box art with spider-man i don't know i've never actually used one of these before let me know have, have you guys like ever bought one of these like fake it just says game have you ever bought one of these fake all like 3001 games i've never used one of those and then finally uh the label's a little damaged but there was a copy of a link to the past four swords which i actually have complete in box my girlfriend did actually give me that for my birthday a year or two ago so um i'm not sure what i'll do with this maybe i'll throw it up on ebay or something i'm not sure i'm not sure how much it's actually even worth honestly but um yeah very cool to find and like i said you pay by the pound so these weighed literally nothing Nah, but when you guys see what I have in store for the end of the video, you're gonna understand why I waited so long because I I feel like I need to like one up my pickups, if that makes sense, in terms of how lucky I get at Goodwill Outlet. Because for so long there, I was finding insane things, you know, GameCube games. Sometimes I found Sega Saturn games, like just insane stuff, right? It's been so long since I got anything like that, but there there has been some decent stuff. Notably, one of the most notable things I've gotten recently uh, was this copy of Mario Kart 64. I we we never find N64 cartridges. There is actually another one we found that I'll show later um, that I got today. But um, yeah, Mario Kart 64, this was a couple weeks ago. I'm pretty happy with this. I actually don't have this game, and it's a, it's a clean copy. It is player's choice, although that doesn't really matter when it's a cartridge. And then we just have like a weird little stack of random stuff. Prince of Persia, the Sands of Time trilogy here. Um, I've never played these games. There's that remake coming out, maybe eventually. Probably, probably not. Um, but yeah, I thought I thought this was cool to have, even if it's not worth anything um, to have on PC. Uh, there's a loose <laughs> Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets disc. I know... Uh, the Sorcerer Stone on GameCube is actually worth a decent amount. Not Chamber of Secrets, not as much. Uh, just, just some random stuff here. I can't pass up cheap games, guys. Come on. Uh, roller coaster theme park on PS2 here. A lot of this stuff I don't have space for, so it'll go in the garage. Uh, Wii Sports, except Psych. We play in there. That's unfortunate. <laughs> of course, a classic in the Botox Games household Barbie as the island princess. What the fuck? Wait. <laughs> Look at her on the, uh, on the elephant there. What's she doing? What's she doing there? And the game I'm actually excited about because I recently rebought a Series X that I guess I'll show that in a pickups video. Um, and I, I've been playing through some Sonic games. And I wanted to finally play Generations, but I had packed up my copy of it and it's in the garage and I have, you know, dozens and dozens of boxes in the garage or whatever, right? I'm not going to go dig it out. Um, I actually found a copy of uh, Platinum Hits. Uh, sonic generation so yeah i'm actually excited to check this out not the greatest condition copy but you know what it'll get the job done and i'm probably going to be talking about this on the uh nintendo Select like podcast pretty soon uh game i i you know I'm, I'm very curious about because it's developed by obsidian and published by sega alpha protocol i've never heard anyone talk about this but it's a game i've just kind of always seen what is going on on the back of this what does that create a character <laughs> this is kind of cool i always like finding these it's an xbox 360 demo disc they gave these out with the uh the xbox magazine but it's actually like a case, and you can kind of collect these. I don't. I, I have a couple from the bins, but um, yeah, I don't know. This one's for the Born Conspiracy, as well as uh, Kung Fu Panda, Football Manager, Mr. Driller Online, Rocky and Bullwinkle, 
Battle Zone. Football Manager 2008. Oh, man. Also, it's funny that this Xbox demo disc is advertising Wii and DS games. That's funny. Don King Prize Fighter. What, what a weird era the seventh gen was. A <laughs> couple of PS2 games I was happy to find because I don't have these in the collection. Rayman 3. Never played this one, but I loved uh, Rayman 2. Or I played Rayman 3D, but love Rayman 2 slash 3D. So Rayman 3, uh, kind of a grody. You can kind of see like some... Some just literally spill chocolate milk on that. I don't even know. And then uh, Onimusha. I was happy to find this as well. I love Onimusha. I played it on PS... Or no, I played it on Switch when it came out. Uh, and back in 2019, I believe. So I was happy to find this. This one is uh, complete, I believe. Yes. That is a nice, beautiful, complete copy of Onimusha from Goodwill. And then this is really cool. I have never seen this before. I'm starting to like dabble more in like the weird Nintendo stuff. Specifically VHS. And when I say I'm starting to dabble in, I mean I got this, and it makes me want to get more. I recently found out there's a Fire Emblem VHS. Kind of need that now. But uh, we found this M Mario uh, 2 Yoshi's Island VHS. I looked it up on... I don't have a VCR anymore, but I, I looked it up on, on YouTube. It's just like this weird ad for the game. Star on that one. Could it be that you're not getting enough Mario in your diet? Introducing the game you've been waiting four long years to play. Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island. Available only on Super NES. Talking about how totally tubular it is. Um, the, it's weird. The, the opening is up here. Like It's at the top of the box. Don't know why. But uh, yeah, Yoshi's Island VHS. Very weird. Very cool to have. A nice little shelf display piece. You might be able to see it. I've been having it in the background of my videos down over here. So put that back where it goes. And with that, we're already at the insane stuff. So um, there are two separate tales to tell here. The first is something that I actually did not technically get at Goodwill. I bought it off someone that found it at the Goodwill. Someone I'm pretty friendly with there. Um, he found some very good stuff. He, you know, tried to, you know, kind of kind of get me at a high price i talked him down uh, there was other stuff in the deal I, I said i didn't really want i wanted to focus on the games so for a hundred dollars i got uh one really good game and then just some other weird random stuff most notably uh, in terms of the weird random stuff this bag of umd so let's look through this i haven't actually looked fully through this yet <laughs> you know with the bins sometimes you know just right place right time there's a lot of resellers there so um it's very competitive right you know if, if, if you're not there right when they open i stand in line um even if you're there when they open, you might not get the good stuff. But going through these UMDs here, we have Hot Brain. Um, some of these are definitely movies, but this one's actually from Midway, so that's that's an actual game. Uh, Need for Speed Carbon. I don't think there's anything like expensive in here or really worth it. Although most PSP games aren't worth much. Uh, Secret Agent Clink. I've always wanted to play that. We got National Treasure. On a... What's the better way to do this here? My mic like arm is right in the way. We got National Treasure. Of course, Wally. -E. Classic. Rock Band Unplugged. We got Narnia here uh, on UMD. Madden. Uh, Labyrinth. Classic. What is that one? I'm trying to read it through my thing. Oh, Neopets. That's kind of fun. I bet I bet some people have like a huge memory and nostalgia for Neopets on PSP. That that seems very like... That's what my girlfriend would do. <laughs> a couple more here. We got... What is that? X4? Oh, Fantastic Four. It's Fantastic Four on UMD, right? Uh, Cars. The game for UMD, not the movie. Lego Harry Potter, another copy of Need for Speed Carbon, not Greatest Hits this time, and uh, iRobot. Oh, and also, oh, Daxter, cool. So yeah, nothing crazy in the UMD department. You'll see why I spent $100 in just a second. The other thing in there was this Japanese copy of Street Fighter 02. I'm not even sure what version of Street Fighter this actually is, like in terms of what the English would be called. It is missing the front manual, or they like chopped up the back or something. I'm not entirely sure. But uh, he had it in the bag, and I was like, you know what? Throw that in, too, and you'll have yourself a deal. Um, and it's just, I don't know, kind of cool to have it. It's a little annoying the spine's gone because they ripped it up. But just a weird Japanese. I like I love this art. What's her name? Sakura? Yeah. Really cool art. And then, yeah, the, the main reason I bought this stuff off of him. Remember, he found it at the Goodwill. I just oh, I wasn't there at the time. I missed it. Is this absolutely gorgeous copy of Silent Hill 3. Like, just absolutely. Like, this is one of the cleanest PS2 cases I've ever seen. Especially from a Goodwill. <laughs> you can see the reflection in it. Um, I, listen, I, it's a lot of money to spend on a game I've never played. I know this game goes for more than that. Um, and it's a series I do want to play eventually. Um, some would argue maybe I shouldn't be buying games. I'm not uh, ready to play immediately. But you know what? Screw it. It was a good deal. I like the guy. He was trying to sell the stuff. I'd rather him sell it to me than someone else. And um, yeah, Silent Hill 3. It definitely will get to this eventually. Although here's the thing. Um, these these discs, it has a soundtrack and the, and the game in there. Um, this is like the clean, this person never played this game. 
<laughs> this this disc was never played. So I almost don't want to put it in a PS2. I know that's like stupid, but there's got to be a Silent Hill collection coming, right? They have to be doing that. Plus, there's Silent Hill 2 remake coming out from Bloober Team later this year. Maybe, maybe it'll get delayed. I'll play that, and then maybe I'll go and go and play this. But either way, a very nice collection uh, or a game to add to my my PS2 collection. But uh, let's get to the goods. So there's a lot of miscellaneous stuff. This is all stuff from today, by the way. I had an incredible day. I posted a picture on Twitter of the really good stuff, um, although Twitter's down as of this recording. <laughs> the Elon Musk doing Elon Musk stuff. Um, a lot of empty cases, unfortunately, here. Um, this I actually found a while ago, but I wanted to throw it out there. I did order a cartridge for this. I don't know if I ever showed this case in a video. It was found at the Benz, but I just ordered a cartridge for it. It has the manual in there, so I'm excited to play this. They announced that new Peach game, and I figured, you know what? Now's a good time. But yeah, just a bunch of random empty cases. Uh, new Leaf for 3DS. Scribble Knots. This one's actually in there, um, although that game's not really worth anything. Bravely Default. That's a cool case to find. More of an expensive game. Warrior do it yourself i might i was looking at cartridges for this game because i don't have it it's almost more worth it to just buy the complete game <laughs> and then sell this case on its own because the cartridges only are selling for like maybe 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 five dollars less than the complete copy it's very weird uh case for nintendogs and a nintendo select copy of zelda link between worlds so nothing crazy there but ds cases especially like first party stuff i'm always gonna grab Another random thing, like I said, we almost never find these, so to have it happen pretty close to each other is weird. Uh, Major League Baseball featuring Ken and Griffey Jr. N64 game. I have, like, no N64 games, so it's always fun to find these. Even if it is a sports game, I will definitely pick that up. And then we get to the stack of just even more miscellaneous, uh, more modern stuff, we'll say. So the first thing here is a... Um, I, I was shocked for this. Um, I didn't realize this game was worth so much until very... I, I think I saw another YouTuber like talk about it or something. Uh, or another collector. NCAA 10 for PS3. This is a sealed copy of this game. This is the last NCAA basketball game they made. I know that NCAA 14 uh, for, for football is a very expensive and expensive and coveted game because that was the last one they made they're making a new ncaa soon though um so this was just cool to find also just sealed is very weird um i don't know <laughs> random very random another sealed thing actually uh this infamous two from maybe it was a packet or something i'm not too sure i still pc copy of max Payne here love how the remedy logo is just up there also this case is like they like bullet punched it or something i don't know <laughs> Greatest Hits copy of Fallout 3, Battlefield 3, Gran Turismo 5. Just a lot of stuff that doesn't hold a lot of value, but that's fine. Uh, Batman Arkham City. Games I probably already have. This one's weird. Uh, Batman 2-pack. Greatest Hits of Arkham Asylum and Arkham City. I've never seen this before, so I thought that was cool. Um, also, it's funny because like you can kind of tell when something was donated, like the same person. Whoever donated all this stack of games I'm holding right now definitely donated like both copies of this. So I don't know why they own both. <laughs> uh, Crisis 3. I need to fix the box art there. Uh, then we get to some Xbox One stuff. This is a game I've never seen before. Sherlock Holmes, The Devil's Daughter. Um, very interesting. Disney Infinity 2.0. Even for, you know, 30 cents or whatever it is. Can't pass that up. Modern Warfare 2019. Kind of nice. The case is chewed. I'll probably swap that with the uh, the Disney Infinity. Another game I need to fix the cover on Mortal Kombat 10 or X. I don't even... I, I think I meant to toss this back. NBA 2K15 for Xbox One. Let me get to some 360 here. Another copy of Arkham Asylum just for 360 this time. Guitar Hero Aerosmith. Bejeweled. I actually don't know if I have this one. I love I love, love Pop Cap, so that's nice. Lego Harry Potter Platinum Hits. We have some Wii games here. Smarty Pants. Let's go. <laughs> I will always pick up Wii Shovelware if it's something I don't recognize or I'm, like, I'm confident I don't have it. Um, play, EA Playground, including Dodgeball. Includes Dodgeball, guys. Includes dodgeball. <laughs> Ace Combat 4 on, uh, on PS2 here. And then two GameCube games. Uh, not anything crazy here, but Chicken Little. I love this movie as a kid. Pretty cool to find that. And then The Hobbit, which I think I have already. In fact, let me... If I have it, it's in the garage. But I, I'm pretty sure I have this game already. But I couldn't pass it up. And then, yeah, Chicken Little's a cool one to find. Now we get to the juicy stuff. Okay. Like, I, <laughs> I genuinely can't believe I found these. So we'll start off light. We'll start off light. Uh, two Genesis games. Uh, one of them I already had. We got Sonic 1 on Genesis at the Benz. Paying Benz prices. You can't pass that up. But also Sonic 2, which I did not have before. Um, unfortunately, this copy doesn't have a line on it. But both of these are complete. It takes so much force to open up a, uh, a Genesis box. But that's pretty cool. Adding to the Genesis collection. I don't have very many, many Genesis games. And then we got some, uh, some long box stuff here. So some PS1 long box. 
some Sega CD. I've had a couple Sega CD games from the Benz, but nothing ever good, really. And I don't own a single PS1 long box game until now. Of course, I do now. So two two softballs here. We got um, NFL Game Day for from Sony Interactive Sports. I've never seen that like that that label before, which is pretty cool. Also, this is in like really good condition. Um, this is not like a plastic case. This is like the cardboard cases they they used to do. Um, God, the cases are so weird, but it even has the foam. In fact, all of these games have the foam, or at least all the PS1 games here have the foam. Uh, so that's just kind of cool. I'm not going to pass that up, right? And then, unfortunately, this case is cracked, but out of all these games that have a cracked case, I'm okay with it being this. Uh, we got Bill Walsh College of Football, so that's pretty pretty neat. I'm not going to buy a replacement case because Sega Saturn cases are very, very expensive. Then we have four games left. And uh, like I said, th these are probably the four best games I found at the Benz. I've had some insane stuff. I found Metroid Fusion. I found Polite Princess, Wii Sports Club. I found some insane stuff. Um, but at, at least this year, at the, very, at the very least in 2023, this is my best finds ever. So um, we got this absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous copy of Sonic CD here. Found out that the Benz um, I would need to check, like, how much this weighs, but like I said, you pay, like, $1.35 per pound. However much that is, do the math. Um, yeah. <laughs> and these games are not cheap. Uh, this one is not, does not have the foam, but uh, very clean copy there. And, yeah, just the fact that if you don't if you don't know what the bins are, it's just all in a sort of crap, right? So they dump it from a machine. So for these to not be cracked is absolutely miraculous. Um, but, yep. Very happy with that. Very, very happy with that, actually. And then another Sega CD game. Um, I saw this in the bin, and I was, you know, I got in there. You know, they wait to tell us that we can dig, right? I see a couple things on top. My heart's beating fast. I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> I see this as well as something else that we'll get to in just a second here. And I was like, oh, man, this is a good bin. This is a good day. Uh, the Amazing Spider-Man uh, and Kingpin. Is that what it's called? Uh, the Amazing Spider-Man versus the Kingpin, right? Um, so yeah, this is just a, a, a Sonic game on Sega CD. Also holds some decent value. Um, of course, it's staying in my collection. I don't really sell games if I don't have them. Um, so this is awesome. This one also has the foam here. So very, very happy with that. I actually ordered um, protectors. I ordered a little five pack of long box protectors just for this stuff. And then two final games here for PS1. Um, this is the other game I saw on top and I was like, oh, 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 don't don't mind if I do. Uh, the Raiden Project on PS1 long box. This is, um, of course, a shmup. They actually still make these, I believe. I, I've seen uh, NIS America publishes them on, on Switch. Um, but this is complete as well. I'm trying to, like... <laughs> I feel like I shouldn't be touching these. <laughs> these like these are delicate delicate items. But, uh, yeah, this one, I, I think this would be complete, right? It doesn't have the phone, but this this would be the manual, right? So, um, yeah, that's that's awesome. And then the final game I got... Possibly the, the single most valuable game I have I found at the Benz. Um, not that it's all about value. I get it. I know people are going to comment like, oh, this guy's only for value. You're just you, you, scummy. I don't care, really. It's nice knowing it's worth money, though, that I got it for a good deal. I'm never going to sell this game because I love this franchise. And I honestly never thought I would have a copy of it, <laughs> to be completely honest with you. Although, it's it's maybe a little hypocritical to say I love this franchise when I haven't actually played this version of the game. This is a very clean copy, long box, of Resident Evil. Yes, I, 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 my heart, my, my I was sh like shaking <laughs> when I, when I found this in the bin, because you know, you don't know how much more there is in the bin. You grab it. You don't know if it's in there. I kind of shook it. I felt like it felt like there was something in there. So I was like, oh my God, if it's in there, that's going to be um, incredible. And yeah, it is a pretty clean copy. There's a couple, you know, blemishes. You can kind of tell like there's like scuffs on the front. It's not like perfect or anything, but I've definitely seen worse copies. This needs to be put back down. Let me know if you're a, like a PS1 long box collector. Is it worth it to, like, glue this down? I'm going to assume no. I, I assume I probably shouldn't mess with it. <laughs> but um, Resident Evil is one of my favorite franchises, or at least has become one of my favorite franchises over the years. So to have this as just a display piece um, is, is very nice to, to show my appreciation for the franchise. Though, like I said, I've only played a remake <laughs> in terms of Re Resident Evil 1, right? Um, played all the modern ones, right? So I need to finish 4 remake, though. Um, but yeah, this one also, uh, missing the foam. I guess I should actually probably transfer some foam from another one to this. But, um, yeah, that is going to do it for this pickups video, guys. I am, I'm still speechless, specifically these four. This video was a lot of stuff that's kind of worthless, but it's still fun to find games no matter what the bins. This little stack right here is absolutely crazy. Um, just, just absolutely crazy. Just in terms of not necessarily just value, although that definitely helps me 
think so highly of this find, but also just really cool games to find that goodwill. You know, people always say you can't find good stuff at goodwill, and for the most part, that's true. I have not found anything in like the past year, but there has been really good stuff at my bins um, in the past. And hopefully, I'm hoping this is the start of something new here. If they maybe stop sorting or whatever the case may be, if we can get back on that track, goodwill outlet, where I, I you just you give me good games all the time. I would appreciate that because I'm going to keep these games. I'm going to give them a good home and I'm going to love and cherish this copy probably for the rest of my life. <laughs> you know, it's not someone else picking up and then just selling it right for a quick flip. I'm, ugh. I'm so happy to have this. Let me know what you guys have found recently in your thrift shops or just your pickups in general recently. Like I mentioned, I will be doing a, a switch pickups video because it was slower for the past couple months. I think I haven't done one since maybe March or April. However, uh, Best Buy, like I, I alluded to, just started that buy two, get one sale with their new Total Tech membership or Plus membership, whatever they call it. Kind of went crazy on that. So expect a lot of Switch pickups soon. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing for more collection videos, Nintendo videos, as is what I mostly do. And uh, follow me on Twitter when it works at Botox Games. Until next time, folks. Peace.